Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Stepped into the octagon this time. He wants to leave with that championship belt. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones ready to make a statement here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. If you see those fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alex Poeta. Perea! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, third no, man in the octagon Wait. tonight. So here he is, the youngest champion in UFC history. Another massive spot for Johnny Bones Jones. We'll see how he approaches the early going here. Nice mix of knockouts and submissions. Hard to find any sort of weakness thus far in the UFC career of one of the greatest of all time. Jones takes the center of the octagon. Nice punch, man. Oh, Jones goes to the clinch here. All right, so that takedown could be big, could be a sign of things to come. At the very least, you know the kickboxer does not want to be on the canvas on his back. He doesn't, John. And if you're a kickboxer, you don't want to be playing catch-up. you got to defend before he starts his takedown process. If he's on your legs and he's working towards the finish, you're too late. You've got to be careful here. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Just misses with the jab there. 
Oh, now lands a kick to the body. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Nice jab there by Johnny Bones, and man, what Daniel Cormier would do to have an 84-inch reach. Of course, it's one thing to have length, it's another to use it to great effect. I'm not sure anybody has mastered it like the future Hall of Famer, Johnny Bones. Oh, and there it is, D.C. Domus. Saw that one coming a mile away. D.C., I like that one. I really, really <laughs> like that one. Because I got it right, and it makes me feel cool. Oh! Heard him again. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He should not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Oh, nice jab up top by Jones. Nice. Nicely done. Final minute of round one. Nice great one. Alex Pereira gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Whiffs on the straight right here. Takedown defense holds up. There's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the stools. I don't know who it is. I don't know who we're watching fight. But I tell you, as he walks back, he looks like Bambi. When Bambi was born and her legs were shaking, that's exactly how this man looked when he took that right hand. He was hurt bad, John. And the ability to get through that, the ability to still be in this fight shows to his toughness. But if he doesn't change it, he won't get, he will not get another chance. Bambi. Bambi. You ready? You ready? Go. Second round here. That one was clean. Great punch. Oh, oh he's in real trouble now. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Nice crack there. Oh, he blocks the strike. Ooh, and counters with a jab. So a nice sequence for him there. He's got the reach advantage, and at least in that exchange, size certainly appeared to matter. What a beautiful leg kick that man. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked on the Anderson Silva situation. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, huge kick to the leg. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. Pereira gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. He tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Under a minute now to go. All right, he 
He engages in a single collar tie here. transition there after he was getting stunned on the feet. And there you go, again, half guard. All right, round three coming up next. Stop. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. Now he's oh, huge shots being landed on both sides. Fighters separate from the clinch. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in the oh, no! Now we get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Gotta watch his neck. Oh, that Von Flute choke is tight. We may get a finish here with this Von Flute choke, but now he's got to tee up. He's got to get his body. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Short time now in the round. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Jones is in half court. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. I need you to fight back. Uh, Saved by the bell. Uh, there is the final horn. He was getting grounded. He was getting pounded just at the end of the round. So you see, he's taking some of this time here to get back to his feet. Only 60 seconds on the clock between rounds. We will see if this young man can recover. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. 
That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quick. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that it's a huge connection lying there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. I was starting to swell now. Inside leg kick, and there's a takedown attempt. Nice kick there by Jones. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real connections right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Leg kick lands. Single. Pereira getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the outside. Whoa. 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 Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh. And that'll do it. John Jones with one of the greatest knockouts you will see. I mean, wow. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 39 seconds of round number four. He played the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John. What a knockout for John Jones. Perhaps a bonus winning effort for him here tonight. Competitive matchup, at least on paper, but didn't play out that way tonight, DC. Well